Hi guys, this week we're going to be making a cathedral window cushion cover. Um, I made one uh, several years ago now. Um, it was a 12 inch one uh, with some old, an older William Morris range of fabrics and it was perfect. Here's a photograph of that. So because of the way that this is put together, it uses up a fair bit of fabric. Um, however, most of this is the backing fabric, so it doesn't need to be an expensive print. Save your best fabrics for the middle of each window and try to stick to one colour for the background fabric. Your nice fabrics will then stand out really well. I'm using a texture blender fabric for the backing and background, which is a wonderful quality cotton uh, without huge expense. I'll add a link in the description for it. I use texture blender whenever I can because it's inexpensive and it's still great quality. For this, you're going to need a nine by nine inch piece of card. An old cereal box would work fine. Um, I'm using the back of a, a cat's advent calendar for mine. And this is where the texture blender comes in. You'll need 16 squares of fabric measuring 10 by 10 inches. You'll also need a small 2.5 by 2.5 inch piece of fabric for each window. In this case, for this size of um, a cushion cover, you're going to need 32 pieces. Don't cut your backing fabric until you have the front completed. It should work out around 18 by 18 inches, so it would require two pieces at 18 by 15 um, to allow the envelope back to sit properly. Um, however, as I say, don't cut that until you've finished the front. You'll also need 25 buttons to go on each point. So with all the fabrics ironed and ready to use, place your first backing piece right side down and put the cardboard in the centre. Using the cardboard as a guide, fold over the left and right edges by half an inch and press. If you don't have a piece of card, measure in on all sides by half an inch instead. With two already done, dab a little bit of glue in the other corners. And fold those over. Again, press. All the edges should now be pressed inward. Remove the card template. And fold the fabric in half. So you turn fabric is inside. Press that. Fold in half again and again press. Now open that up and fold in each of the corners to the centre point. Press each of these. Repeat this until all your background fabric pieces are pressed in the same way. You should end up with 16 identical pieces.
Now we're going to do the same again. We're going to take the corner, fold it into the center, and repeat this on all pieces. Now with those all pressed, we're going to take two and place them side by side. Lift the two inner triangles and pin them together. Fold the two back to back so you can see the pressed seam. Now sew down that line to join them. Repeat this until you have a row of four. Sorry, a lot of repeating in this one. Um, you'll need to create four rows of four. Now take two rows and as you did before, place them together, joining up the four triangles. Pin those and stitch down the pressed line. Repeat two as the other rows until all of your pieces are put together. Now fold the triangles back down on their respective squares and at this point you need to sew a smallish cross through the four of them uh, to stop them from lifting. Don't worry, these won't be visible on the finished cushion. Um, I just went roughly quarter inch over each point. Top to bottom, then side to side. If you haven't already, go ahead and cut your centre squares. So as I said before, you need 32 for this size cushion and they need to be 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. Lay out the centre blocks on the panel that you created and play around a little to find the most pleasing layout if you're using more than one um, accent fabric. So if you're using more than one fabric, um, take a photograph so you know what piece goes in what window. Dab a little bit of glue on the back, pop a few in place. And here we go with the magic part. So fold over one of the flaps it will automatically want to curve and sew as close as possible to the inner edge as you dare. As you approach the next one, fold over the next section and stitch along that. Doing this will allow you to get from one side of the cushion to the other um, in a sort of wavy pattern. Once you get to the end, start again and continue until all those flaps are rolled over and stitched in place.
this part is optional uh but i think it does look better um where you've sewn close to that inner edge on the curved fabric i like to go down the opposite side too it finishes it off nicely so same method just on the other side Right, so now is the point that I should have added the buttons and I forgot, which isn't a huge issue. It just means that they're more of a pain to add um, later on. I would suggest that you add them now um, in each join point. But let's continue with the uh, with things the way that I did them. So with the front panel finished, we need to turn this into an actual cushion cover. Cut two pieces of backing fabric at 18 by 15 inches. Fold over half an inch on one side of each of those pieces. So on the longest edge, fold it over by half an inch and then another half inch and top stitch. And you need to do that with both pieces. Place your front panel right side facing upward. Place each of those two backing pieces with the hemmed section in the middle on either side of the panel. They should be facing down, um, so the wrong side should be facing you at this point, and they will overlap in the middle. Pin through all the layers all the way around. Now sew that using a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. Um, when you get to the overlaps in the centre, backstitch them a few times to secure them. And clip the corners. Turn the cover right way out, uh, push the corners out as best that you can. Now obviously if you've already added your buttons you can pop in the cushion insert and be finished. Um, I however haven't, so I have that little chore to complete. So I'll do one. And I think a bit of Netflix is in order while I add the rest of them. Finally, that took a little while to do. Um, so now I'll pop your insert in and there we have it. Uh, absolutely love this method and the fabric. 
the, all of the William Morris fabrics that we've had in, um, absolutely fallen in love with. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments and until next time, happy sewing.